Hello and welcome to the lesson on optimization using the meta model of optimal prognosis. So far, we have covered the process integration steps and sensitivity analysis. Consequently, we have created an automated simulation process and a meta model of optimal prognosis MOP that approximates the output as a function of design parameters with a high predictive quality. Next, we will proceed to the final step which is optimization with the objective of minimizing the pressure drop across the duct. In this lesson, we will learn how to perform optimization for this case using the optimization wizard and post process the results. So let's get started. ANSYS Optis Lang Process Integration and Design Optimization Software offers two approaches for optimization. These include working with the meta model of optimal prognosis MOP derived from a successful sensitivity analysis or opting for direct optimization. In our case, we will perform the optimization using the MOP. To refresh our memory from the previous lesson, we conducted a sensitivity analysis using the adaptive meta model of optimal prognosis or AMOP approach. This approach yielded the MOP, a meta model with the highest coefficient of prognosis or COP. This MOP will be utilized for our optimization. MOP optimization allows for fast evaluation of different objective functions using a meta model. This method can take just seconds to execute and is particularly advantageous when dealing with a large number of parameters. It helps to focus on the most important parameters and the best design is validated by a solver run. On the other hand, direct optimization does not rely on a meta model and each design is evaluated with the solver. This approach is always applicable even if no suitable MOP can be generated and it enables design improvement without the need to further investigate the CAE model. The choice between MOP optimization and direct optimization depends on the specific needs and constraints of the design process. Factors to consider include the complexity of the model, the computational resources available, and the desired accuracy and the speed of optimization process. If required, these two methods can also be integrated into a single optimization process commencing with MOP optimization and following up with direct optimization. Regardless of the approach chosen, it is critical to select the right optimization algorithm. ANSYS OptisLang Applications Optimization Wizard assists in identifying the most suitable algorithm settings for your optimization tasks. Let's now delve into how to use the optimization wizard. To begin, open the ANSYS OptisLang project in which the sensitivity analysis has been successfully completed. Since our goal is to perform optimization using MOP, navigate to the wizard's pane and drag the optimization wizard over to the AMOP pane. When the AMOP pane highlights in green, drop the optimization wizard onto it. In the wizard, you have the option to either conduct the direct optimization using real solver calls or to apply optimization on the MOP. Parameterization and criteria in the wizard are carried over from the AMOP. Verify the settings on the parameterized inputs and criteria pages and click next until the optimization method page appears. You will notice that the MOP solver option has already been selected implying that MOP optimization will be employed, which is our intention. If you wish to engage in direct optimization, then opt for real run. Optimization in ANSYS OptisLang application involves a variety of algorithms that cater to different optimization needs. If you are a beginner, you may find it beneficial to use the one-click optimization feature which only requires setting the maximum number of design evaluations and the rest is automatically handled. This number depends on the number of objectives, the simulation runtime and if a MOP solver is used or not. You can adjust this number as required. 
one click optimization in ansys optislang application is a hybrid and dynamic optimization approach that efficiently combines different optimization strategies with mop assisted search strategies it is general purpose optimizer that automatically and iteratively select the most suitable optimization algorithms available in ansys optislang software such as nlpql simplex evaluationary algorithm and so on if you are a more experienced user and would like to opt for manual optimizer selection then you can make use of the decision tree which will help you to select the preferred algorithm guided by a traffic light system the system indicates which algorithm are recommended which are worth trying and which are not recommended for your specific problem the software offers algorithm for both single and multi objective optimization as a global and local optimization for our case we'll go for mop solver and one click optimization with the default number set for maximum number of design evaluations start designs in ansys optislang optimization refer to the initial set of design points that an optimization algorithm can use as starting points we will retain the default setting of receiving the best designs from amop system for start designs and click next once the optimal designs are identified by the optimization algorithms it is important to validate them with actual solver runs this is done automatically and in additional settings we can set the number of best designs to validate since we are conducting single objective optimization and we would want to confirm the performance of the single best design identified by the optimization process we will retain the number of best designs to validate settings to 1 click on finish to close the panel rearrange the items in the scenery pane as required run the case this will take few minutes Once the run is completed the post processing window for the validator will open or you can open it by double clicking on the validator post processing node This is a default post processing window after an optimization on the mop which displays the relevant plots that give important information about the best design at a glance The post processing window offers a variety of plots widgets and settings for the enhanced data visualization and interaction there is a menu bar and toolbar containing various options and functions the area in the middle displays the relevant plot windows the preferences pane enables you to apply post processing application properties to one or more plots while the visuals pane lists all the plots that can be added to the displayed plot area to apply a common group of dimensions plot specific settings and design selections you may use the common settings pane feel free to explore the features the history plot is a visual representation of the performance of different design iterations over the course of the optimization process by default the objective history is plotted which shows how the objective values change with each optimization design which can help you understand the behavior of the optimization algorithm and the process towards finding the best design the convergence line is particularly important as it tracks the improvement of the objective value as the optimization iterations progress and represents the best design at a certain stage this line helps to visualize the progression of the optimization algorithm towards the optimal solution when the line levels off it suggests that the optimization is converging and that subsequent iterations are not resulting in significant improvements the design parameter bar chart shows the design input parameter values of a selected design relative to the parameter bounds currently the best design is selected which is by default if you select another design all the plots change appropriately to reflect the current selection due to the interactive character of the post processing window notice that the bar chart plots for the best design differ from those from the rest of the designs this is because only the best design from the optimization on mop is validated using the solver run and the comparison is plotted 
there will be a difference between the two values as the MOP is an approximation. Characterized by having the highest coefficient of prognosis or COP among all the meta model, the MOP estimates response values as a function of input parameters. So, to minimize the difference between the values derived from the MOP and those from the solver run, it is recommended to obtain a MOP with the highest possible COP, higher the COP value, better MOP's prediction quality. Furthermore, if we select an input parameter in the design parameter bar chart, the history plot will adapt to display the progression of that specific parameter over the course of the optimization iterations. Additionally, the plot will also display the lower and upper bounds of that parameter. This is applicable to the other bar chart plots as well. When data is selected in this chart, it will trigger corresponding changes in the history plot. In post-processing, we can toggle between various views in each plot, such as the chart view for graphical representation, the visual settings view to alter plot properties, and the table view for data in a tabular format. This capability enhances user experience by enabling data analysis from different perspectives and customizing the display to meet specific needs. Additionally, the table view may offer multiple tabs for data tables, each representing a different context-based set of data. In ANSYS OptiSlang Applications Optimization Post-Processing, the response values and the criteria data bar chart plots provide visual representations of the design's performance relative to specified objectives and constraints. The response values bar chart plot shows the scalar output values of the currently selected design in comparison to the minimum and maximum response values. Similarly, the criteria data bar chart plot displays the criteria data of the selected design, again relative to the minimum and maximum values. So far, we have seen how optimization on MOP based on our specified objective criteria generate a best design with corresponding optimal values for the vane angles. This design is validated by a solver run and hence we have two values of the output parameter. One from the MOP optimization and the other from the solver run. Now let's take a moment to step back and recall from the previous lesson that the sensitivity analysis using the AMOP approach also yielded a best design. This design was the best among those evaluated across the design space during the sensitivity analysis process. On the other hand, the best design from the optimizer is the result of a thorough exploration of the design space to find a truly optimal design taking the objective into consideration. Typically, this design is better than or is an improvement over the one from the sensitivity analysis. Interestingly, in our case, when we compare the best design derived from the AMOP sensitivity analysis with the one achieved after optimization, we notice a slight increase in the objective value. This increase can occur if the MOP is not sufficiently accurate locally in the vicinity of the best design or if the best design from the AMOP is already close to the optimal design. In such situations where the optimization on MOP does not yield satisfactory results, we could consider refinement of the MOP by adding more designs and running the optimization on the MOP again or conduct a direct optimization using a real solver run. Here we will continue with the direct optimization. To initiate optimization by real solver run, we need to drag the optimization wizard from the wizards pane and drop it on the AMOP system. We will click next until we arrive at the optimization method page. Here we will select real run and change the maximum number of design evaluations to 100. The designs from AMOP will be taken automatically as a start designs in the optimization. Click next and finish to close the wizard. Now run this optimization system. This will take significantly longer than optimization on MOP since each design will now be evaluated using a solver. Please note that the designs carried over from AMOP will not be solved again. 
Once the optimization process is completed, the post-processing window opens automatically. But it can also be manually accessed by double-clicking on the post-processing node. You will observe an improvement in the objective value of the inlet pressure compared to both the best design from the AMOP sensitivity analysis and the optimal value from the optimization on MOP. We have also obtained the corresponding optimal value from the vane angles. In the table view of the objective history plot, we can see that the 50 designs evaluated during the AMOP sensitivity analysis were carried forward to the optimization and additional designs were also assessed. These extra designs further improve the convergence, ultimately yielding the optimal result. To summarize, in this lesson, we explored optimization using the meta model of optimal prognosis MOP and direct optimization in the ANSYS OptisLang application. We learned about the one click optimization method, which is a hybrid approach combining high and low fidelity models. We discussed the process of optimization and explored the optimization wizard, detailing how to initiate optimization using MOP. Post-processing was another key topic, where we looked at how to navigate the post-processing window and interpret the various plots displayed. We also discussed the interactive nature of the post-processing window and how a selection in one plot can affect corresponding change in all other plots. Lastly, we compared the best design obtained from the AMOP sensitivity analysis with that obtained after optimization on MOP and highlighted the options of conducting a direct optimization if the optimization on MOP does not yield satisfactory results. With this, we come to the end of this lesson.